Hello and uh, welcome to the um, video of our tool measurement. As you see, I homed already my machine and I got here a panel uh, to simulate the probe signal because this is uh, in sim mode. I will make later a video on my live machine. So before you begin uh, with uh, your own config, it's very very strongly recommended that you first read the Jimoka Pi wiki. I added a lot of information there. You find a section down tool measurement and when the auto tool measurement I explain how to measure and how to go there. You also find a small um, example sketch to know what to end on which place. Uh, so you will find there a lot of information. Please read this very careful because uh, before you begin because auto tool measurement uh, is uh, uh, has to be configured very good, otherwise you will get uh, problems. Okay, the first you want to do is, if before you begin, you just go to uh, the touch off place, uh, uh, um, um, touch off um, site, and you may jog your machine to a position uh, where you want, uh, where your um, origin of your machine is. So we uh, say here is x0 and y0 so I just um, put my coordinate system there but the high we don't touch the high of the workpiece uh, in Jimoka Pi we just go here to block high and uh, let's say our workpiece is uh, 53.58 millimeters high so I say OK and you see the coordinate system is just moving around so OK now I can already go to the um, uh, auto mode and you see I have no tool loaded it doesn't matter if I load a tool we can do it uh, so I can show you uh, I just load tool let's say tool 2 and say change it so you will see the part is going to the uh, tool measurement position so he say please give me tool number 2 it's a 25 millimeter cutter then click OK OK I click OK this is changed and now he's waiting for the uh, Prop signal. So I click here, say OK, that's a prop signal. So that's all. He already said also uh, G43, so the offset is already taken care of. But it doesn't need uh, to have a tool mounted to start just the program. Just go here and say start. You will see he, find, he finds here, uh, go to tool number 3, and I say OK. He will go to the change position and uh, wait for the uh, SIM signal. So I would say here for 38 to give a signal. So now he begins to run. Oh, that's just because the set is too high. We have to know in another block height. Let's say a block height of uh, 24, 5 millimeters. So that should work. So again, we got the same signal. I say OK and he will go to the workpiece you can see it here we can also make it full screen so you see it better and he's just doing his uh, movements after that he will find again uh, another tool change just wait a moment so he will finished and he goes again to the tool change position and say OK give me tool number one so I change the tool and when I finish to change the tool I say OK and you see he goes again to the tool probe position and I simulate a signal and that's what that is it and he will go to the workpiece again and do the second movement for the second uh, tool this is my my development computer, so we get a real time delay, but doesn't work. It doesn't need, uh, have any uh, meaning for the simulation. So that's the way you have to do it. So please don't forget before you uh, begin with this, check your settings page and go to advanced settings. You say you have to have here. I'll use auto tool measurement, otherwise it wouldn't work. You have to give here the probe high. It's a probe high you have to measure first, uh, and uh, because this is calculated with a block high to give the position of the tool point. And you have here the search velocity and the probe velocity. 
So I'm uh, approaching the first uh, probe touch with 150 millimeters uh, per, se uh, per minute, and the second one was 25 millimeter per second. So you can give also here in inches. It's every time in machine coordinates, in machine units. Sorry. Okay. Hope this uh, small demo uh, is for a first impression. That's good. I will make later on a video on a.